Okay, y'all. First time I'm going to Q City. You have to walk from the parking lot to go to the place. I'm a spot y'all. Guys, we're at Q City. We're here a little early. They start selling tickets at eight o'clock. And we're here early, so we're just, I'm sitting down, waiting until they start selling the tickets at eight o'clock. We went out to eat at the Blue Kitchen. Y'all, the food was not good this time for me. And the other lucked out. She had pasta and stuff, but I had a sh uh, shrimp sandwich they cooked the onions, like overcooked the onions. It wasn't like it was just barely hit by the fire. No, they like smothered the onions. The shrimp was supposed to be fried, but it was like they was bald, bald. So it was not like a shrimp po' boy like in Texas. So y'all, I'm thinking it's just so I will miss Texas. <laughs> Since I'm going back so, and I'll be able to have me a good shrimp po' boy when I get home. And I can have real fish and chips. I was afraid to order the fish and chips because I thought it might be smothered in gravy or something. Like the last time I ordered so-called real English fish and chips. These people don't use cookbooks over here. And the people that serve you the food apparently don't eat the food. So they don't know no better. Well, guys, at Q City, what a useless ticket. The movie has not started. They talk about they couldn't get a signal, so I don't know what kind of movie that is that they have to download a movie to show the movie theater instead of having a, a DVD that goes to movie theaters or some kind of video thing that goes to movie theaters. I don't know if they was doing bootlegging or what at Q City, y'all. But the manager said that he'll come back for the refund. Because the elevator is broken and we just got through walking down three flights of stairs. And I looked at him like, I'm not walking back up three flights of stairs. Thank the most high I wouldn't, but 200 to last. This is ridiculous, y'all. The only theater in town and they have nerve to have a movie that's, the modem is not working. It's Africa, y'all. It's Africa. Guys, you see this clock, I ain't but decoration on the wall. <laughs> I'll be wanting to say, what time is it? <laughs> oh, Lord. It's almost time to go back home. I'm going to miss everybody I am, but I'm not going to miss the Q Cell Movie Theater. <laughs> I had to give y'all an update. Y'all know I'm back home now. I've been home for a while. Because on the way home, we stopped off at Messiah's and got my uh, jerk chicken wings and rice and peas. That was a takeaway. So I have some food tomorrow. Because I'm in a Airbnb that does not have a kitchen. It has a a little like college dorm refrigerator and a microwave and a tea kettle. So you mostly can just reheat your stuff. So anyway, y'all, I was blessed they was open at least so Paul Abib didn't need to take me all the way to Sydney Gambia and back home. It was already late enough. Because we went to Q City early to be there for 7 o'clock. Well, be there for 8 o'clock. Because they saw a start selling tickets at 8 for the 9 o'clock show. And since it was no 9 o'clock show, <laughs> we got out of there around 10.30, y'all. Because they took, like, to 10 o'clock or whatever, 
just to let us know that the modem wasn't working so they couldn't show us the movie. And then they find me, gave us back my 200 Delasa. Kenyatta had to actually go back up those three flights of stairs and sit back in the seat where we were sitting and then had to give them my ticket and told them, you know she can't walk back up them flights of stairs. <laughs> I had got tired of standing up downstairs, y'all. Somebody got up out their seat and I sat down so I could give me some rest. Because it was just general principle getting this money back. But y'all know what? When 200 Delasi, when it's general principle, it's general principle. We got popcorn, supposedly free popcorn with the ticket price. So they were stuck with giving everybody some a box of popcorn. But anyway, y'all, it was very uh, unprofessional, and they actually need to make an agreement with the movie studios so they can actually have the 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 real movie, the real release that does not depend on streaming it off the internet. <clears throat> But anyway, y'all, at least I got my money back. I actually use, I can just think I used that money to pay on some of my takeaway. <laughs> or just extra money I have now when I want to buy something else. But anyway, I just had to update y'all and let y'all know. And y'all... I had so many compliments on my outfit today. Y'all dressed up to go to the movie theater. <laughs> Thinking I'm being Black Panther out because it had djembe drums and conga drums on it. Had my djembe drum necklace on. <laughs> That's life, y'all. That's just life. You know? <laughs> I would definitely... Up the most I say the same, go to the movie. When I get back to Galveston, we have good seats there. And the movie theater actually starts on time. And I don't know how they get the movies, but it's definitely not streamed from the internet, you know? <laughs> it's just not. And I can get me some good old uh, shrimp po' boys. Because here... That sorry excuse for a fried shrimp sandwich I ever did have. I'm telling you, I was so disappointed. I didn't get the fish and chips because the last time I ordered fish and chips somewhere else, they like fried the fish, had the chips there, and put brown sauce all over the fish. I'm like, who does that? Apparently, whoever is cooking doesn't eat the food, you know? So, And then they never ate the food in the first place to understand that that's not how you make it. And whoever owns the restaurant don't care about customer service, apparently, because they don't check how the chefs is cooking the food or care about the customers being happy. Telling me I'm sorry is not going to make me go back there and order that again. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm not going back to the Blue Kitchen. Because I done already bought two things from them. That was very mediocre, y'all. Very mediocre. I just ate that because I didn't want to be sick. I needed to eat, you know. So I just ate it. But I put it, put a lot of mayonnaise on it to get rid of that taste of those cooked onions. I mean, I like onions if they crispy. <coughs> you know, you just slightly stir fry them and they have some texture to them. But these onions was like overcooked, smothered. It was terrible. But anyway, I lived through it, y'all, so... That's life. That's just experience for the spice of my life. 
So far, my best place I eat is Yosh, Y-O-S-H. They have the best food. The seasoning is perfect. Every time I've been there so far. I hope they don't never disappoint me, y'all. I got to have them so well when I go out to eat. <coughs> Somewhere to go where I could rely on the food being good on a consistent basis. I don't want to have to think that I'm winning the lottery because I had uh, good food that day. <laughs> oh, that's something. And I don't want to have to feel like I have to add a secret sauce to my food just so it have seasoning, you know, spicy seasoning. I'm Creole, y'all. I want to have that seasoning in my food. But anyway, I'm counting down my days till I go back home. About a week left, y'all. I would surely miss being here, but I got to go back home. I unfortunately did not build a good Patreon base. I didn't. It's still time where people can join Patreon. I need a consistent donation, y'all, so we can get to the next level. Yeah, people would donate one or two dollars, that's all. Just one or two dollars. And share the videos with people where more people will see the videos. If more people see the <laughs> see the videos <clears throat> that actually care about what we're doing in the community so people can learn about permaculture, growing what they eat, eating what they grow, eating healthy food, from planting from the seed to harvesting it and eating it and knowing that it's good for you and that you did that. Your hard work did that. Y'all, I'm already visualizing coming back. I'm not going to say what time, what, you know, because <clears throat> I have to work on some things back home in Galveston first before I come back. But short of winning the lottery, I actually need help of other people to actually decide that permaculture food garden in Africa <clears throat> is a good idea. Because who feeds you controls you, y'all. Who feeds you controls you. And I actually got that from Baba Infilati, one of my good bro friends and brothers in Houston, Texas. He's not the only one I heard say that, but he's the first person I heard say that. Whoever feeds you controls you. So... We need to be feeding ourselves all over the world. <clears throat> We're blessed in a food forest project in Jampon Jelly to have Mr. Baji uh, share his expertise with us. I actually knew a lot of the stuff that he's doing, but you know what? When a man says something, lots of times some people hear them very well on, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, if he says it and people hear it, well, on a video <laughs> or in person, I'm happy. I'm happy. And I'm happy. As long as the message goes out there, I'm happy. Whether I'm in front of the camera or behind the camera like I am at the food forest for the most part, I'm happy, y'all. Long as the work gets done, we're a team. We are. So anyway, I'll leave information in the description box and in the comments on how you can donate. 
like I said, one or two dollars or whatever the most high put on your heart, it all helps y'all. Y'all don't need to ask questions like, where's your house gonna be and all of that? Cause that all costs money, y'all. The house is gonna be in the front of the property. It's so much space there where we have not planted anything on purpose because that's where the house is gonna be, y'all. It's enough of space there for my house and the security house. And it also has space on the other side in the front for space for local vendors to be and display their artwork or craft or whatever. It's lots of room there for everybody in the community, y'all. The visions are in my head, but it takes money to make it happen. Y'all hear me? It takes money to make it happen. So until I see people donating more on a consistent basis, it'll take time for it to happen. So please have patience with me, y'all. Please have patience. I'm just one person. I'm just one person. My Patreon list is very, very small, y'all. In fact, I get less than $50 a month with Patreon, and that's telling the truth. Less than $50 a month total. So, I'm still happy that at least it started as more than zero. So, I'm happy that they're there. But I would love to have more Patreons that's active and giving me ideas on how to make the garden grow and people that actually want to come for visits to the food forest because they are part of the food forest because they donated to help make it happen and they want to see where their money went in person you know what i mean but anyway until next time, because who knows how long it's going to take to upload this video. <laughs> peace, peace, power to the people. And I'm out, y'all. Bye.